Notice anything different? I don't usually wear hats. <laughs> I had a few friends here a few weeks ago for wine and apps. And earlier that day, they had all had lunch at the Culinary Institute, and they brought me this as a gift. Thank you, Patty, Claire, Ruth. I love it. But that's not all that's different. I usually start the show here, right? The walls are usually white. This has been on my wish list for years. I finally, I hate this phrase. I hear it at work, whatever. I finally pulled the trigger. Awful phrase. But I've been cooking in this home since 2007. Never had any vent. I have painted this kitchen four times, three times which has always included washing all the walls down, grease. So I did it again, and now I'm cooking with a little vent. This doesn't vent out, by the way. There's a chimney there, and I don't have the means to flue it and all of that, to, you know, put what's needed inside the chimney. So instead I went with the charcoal filters, which will need periodic replacement. It filters through the baffles, and then there's charcoal filters in there. It'll recirculate and come back out. But I tested it today. Jimbo was here for lunch. We sauteed some radish greens and whatnot. Cooked the main lunch, strip steaks out on the Weber. But we did a little cooking in here and I'm absolutely thrilled at the way this works. So I was gonna say this is my first, that was gonna be tonight's dinner, the first cooking on here, but I, I, I already cooked. However, we will saute on here tonight it's Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. You're watching it the following week, so I don't mind being up late. I already headed out to the garden. We're doing this a little bit. We're backing up. I'm shooting this now at 9 p.m. Come out with me earlier to the garden. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. It was a hot day today. Got up close to 90. And I did make a little bit of a mistake. I transplanted the eggplant. This stuff should always be done in the evening. I should be doing this now. Looks like it's going to survive. But it did not like the heat. A couple of those small ones may succumb. That one may not make it. It looks like they're going to be okay, and the heat is over. The next couple of days are more mild, so I will give them time to set in. They're intercropped with the lettuce. They're good companion plants. When the eggplant gets tall, it'll shade the lettuce. So we're out here. Let's get some arugula. Nice big leaves. We're gonna saute them so we'll get the big ones. And some broccoli rob. Broccoli rob's just starting to, this one's flower, and this one I had started on the windowsill, so let's get those off. And then it should start throwing up new ones. Just like we did a few weeks ago with the uh, collard greens which by the way are still banging. I need to take care of those because that's gonna be tomato. See the tomatoes way in the back there? They're all going in here. So that's gonna be just trimmed down. I'll let it stay there. But let's get some broccoli rob. Just again, the big leaves. I'll get the ones that are a little bug eaten since we're just sauteing them in a pan. Get the outer ones. That's daikon radish. There's some beautiful French red breakfast radish. We had those today. Hi. Hey Al, how you doing buddy? Good. Taking your picture. What are you up to? Um, we're just taking a walk. Alright, that was my neighbor down the road. Said hello to him. Got a nice bunch of greens here. Let's head back into the kitchen. We got those greens. Oh, and by the way, just disclaimer, show disclaimer. I was just talking to Jimbo about this today. The flies are out of control. 
Um, so if they fly in and out of frame, there's nothing I can do about it. Deal with it. These are those greens. Broccoli Rob and Arugula. I'm so psyched. I need to wash those. Uh, of course, the uh, Linguine, Arumo, uh, and my seemingly ever-present, ubiquitous, oft-repeated golf shrimp. But let me tell you something. The weirdest thing just happened. I'm like kind of freaked out. See these four shrimp? There's five tails in here. I don't know where the fifth one is. I'm gonna have to start sniffing around. Alio, I'm gonna do lemon and lime. Very simple, sauteed greens with garlic, shrimp over linguine with lemon and lime. How could you go wrong with that? Little pepperoncini maybe? And here's the shells. Let's head over to the stove. All right, the first thing you're gonna have to get used to if you watch this show and we might lose some of you, I don't know, the noise level, but let's see how that affects the mic. You know what, I think I can go low. We're not going crazy, we're not deep frying. A little bit of water. Okay. I see those flies going in and out of frame. And here's those shrimp shells. So we're just going to make a little simple stock. Five minute stock. Turned off the hood for audio purposes, uh, but we're going to have it back on when we cook the greens. However, back here is the, I took the shrimp shells, they were cleaned, washed, I threw them in a little bit of water, garlic, I had a lemon slice in there, I took it out, pepperoncini, a nice little stock. Oh, I put a little wine in there, white wine, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, and now I'm cooking it down. So it's almost like a scampi stock. All right. Over here is the pasta water. Starting to simmer up. Going to do that beautiful rumo linguine. So let's get some salt in the water. Cook your pasta like it's in the sea. Okay. Over to the marble. Is our greens. We'll saute them simply in extra virgin olive oil with some garlic, pepperoncini, the usual suspects, vino bianco, a little bit of red wine vinegar, or maybe some lemon juice. So let's get the uh, greens chopped up. Fresh pick. Broccoli rub and arugula. I'm just going to rough chop it and then I'll do the garlic and I'll meet you guys at the burner top. See you there. What I've been doing is I'm cooking with the hood and I'm absolutely loving it, but I'm turning it off for these little voice segments so you don't have to deal with the noise. Cast iron. Is our stock reducing? It's actually really delicious. Mm. Chopped up the greens. This is the arugula and broccoli rod that we picked. I chopped up my garlic. Let's get that going with some extra virgin olive oil. Get the garlic in. Now, while we're letting that garlic heat up, here's the shrimp. I've got a little smoked paprika. Put a little of 
that on. We'll crack a pepper. Kosher salt. Let's flip them and do the same thing on the other side. Garlic starting to juice up in there. Smoked paprika. Black pepper. Kosher salt. Okay. Those are good to go. We'll just set those aside. Here goes the garlic. I'll put a little bit of pepperoncini in here. I like that kick. Oh, the smell of that with the garlic. And in with the greens. We just picked these, you guys. You were with me. Arugula and broccoli rabe. Put a pinch of salt. Put a black pepper. The pepperoncini is already in there, remember? And now, here's what we've been waiting for. Let's turn the back one off. This is the shrimp shell stock. That's basically it. We'll let that cook down a little. As soon as this comes to a boil, we'll get the linguine in. And then we'll pop the shrimp in there. Okay, just figured I'd give you a little bit of the noise factor. There is some noise, but it's not too bad when you're in the room. Pasta water's going. Let's drop the linguine. Rumo. No endorsement. I love that stuff. Okay, so let's pull this to the front. These are the greens. Get the heat back on. And what I'm going to do is push them all the way off because they're cooked. We'll bring them back together. And let's get a little heat on this cast iron. for the shrimp. So once that gets heated up, we're not quite blackening, but I do want it hot. Maybe even just a drop or two of olive oil just to get it rejuvenated. All right, I think that cast iron's heated up nicely now. Put the shrimp. Remember they have Smoked paprika, black pepper, a little bit of kosher salt. I believe that's all. We'll just kind of brown them off. And then mix them back in with the green. Okay, I just checked the macaroni. Seems like about three, three and a half minutes. That should be al dente. So let's flip our shrimp. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this Sauvignon Blanc. Sipping. And it just smells incredible. And now I'll bring the greens back into the picture with the wine. Mm. 
everything drinks right up. So now the linguine's in here, it's released a little starch. So if we go with a little pasta water, it hits with everything and actually will emulsify into a sauce. You get that fond on the bottom, right, from the garlic, a little bit of shrimp. And let's let that cook while the pasta finishes up. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. All right, the linguine is just hitting al dente. So I want to finish it in the greens, in our sauce. Remember, I've told you this. The pasta is releasing starch into the water that it's cooking in. That's why that water is great to ladle into your sauces, because it's an instant emulsifier. But once the pasta releases that starch, then it's the, you know, it's the breathing in, breathing out routine. It's released the starch, now it wants to drink back in. So you want to add it to the sauce. It smells incredible. Okay. This can go off. We'll mix the pasta with the greens and then we'll put the shrimp back in. The shrimp was cooked. You know those four shrimp? I don't know. Am I going to like wake up in the middle of the night and like a shrimp is going to be attacking me? <laughs> oh, this looks so good. All right. I'm going to pop the shrimp back in. We'll give that a minute because it was very al dente. Okay, that's been on for a minute. Get the shrimp back in. Give it a toss. Let's plate this up. Just a drizzle of the pasta water. Just to tighten everything together. And we'll put it on the plate. Plate here. I could get the fork out and do the whole swirl thing, but it's 11 p.m. on Sunday night, and I haven't eaten since before noon. Told you, Jimbo came. New York strips. That's why I'm actually doing fine. We had a hell of a lunch on the patio. Grilled zucchini, sautéed radish greens with crunchy raw radish sliced, big salad, fresh pit, crazy lunch. So I'm good. Now let's take our shrimp, scatter them around. You know, these four shrimp. Do it like so. Alright, I said it with those pancakes last week. I'm saying it again. It's 11 p.m. This is al fresco, man. I'll see you outside. Let's see what we got here. Linguini. With gulp shrimp. Fresh picked arugula and broccoli rabe. Sauteed. With garlic. Pepperoncini. I said it before. The usual suspects. Mmm. Is it still Sunday? This is unbelievable. Let me do one of these shrimp. Smoked paprika. Kosher salt. 
black pepper. Mass insanity going on here right now. Just before midnight. On a holiday Sunday night. I'm pumped. I hope you are. See you for the next episode. Come on, let's do it.